Hello everyone, this is BeastCat100 and welcome back to some more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Turnabout Serenade. In the previous episode, we had investigated, or interrogated Daring Crescent a little bit more, and we almost got there. Unfortunately, under the current court system, we cannot uh, take him down by conventional methods. So, we have to be a little bit sneaky. Not devious, not criminal, but sneaky. And find his igniter. If you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and share with your friends so they can join in on this trial. Let's finish this up, people. The key that will take apart Daring Crescent's plan is we are calling a witness. Your igniter isn't a piece of evidence. <laughs> so what is it? It's true that I couldn't show decisive evidence, but perhaps what I needed to prove my case was something else. I mean a witness. Proving his guilt is a tall order, but I've got just the person to do it. Both the parts are hoping probe Larry and Crescent go. None other than his accomplice, Maki Tobai. The one person who can prove Darren Crescent's guilt is the defendant, Maki Tobai. Maki Tobai was an accomplice to the cocoon smuggling plot. Without him, Daring Crescent would could have gotten the cocoon. Furthermore, he can easily prove that the one who plotted to smuggle that cocoon is the real criminal in this case. It would require just one just one of the very cocoons Mr. Lutu was looking for. With the cooperation of the Republic of Virginia, we could we could burn a cocoon. The burnt cocoon would leave a particular residue. A residue we would, no doubt, also find inside their built out burnt out guitar. <laughs> Thus, if Maki Tobai acknowledges his agreement with Darren Cassette concerning the attempted smuggling of a Borgini cocoon, the case is solved. <laughs> um, Darren's laughing again. Your unrelenting passion is remarkable. You really want to get to me, huh? Too bad you'll never be able to. Why not? The little key, key tickler won't acknowledge anything. Especially not have anything to do with cocoon smuggling. What that ball about? Taking a cocoon out of the country means death. By Boginian law. Ah. Yeah, see? But pianist really was a smuggler. The testifying about it would be suicide. Believe, believe me, he's not talking. You're wrong, Detective Crescent. What? It's the other way around. Maki doesn't admit to smuggling here. He's in deep trouble. Huh? How? Look, if Maki admits to smuggling here, then he'll be tried in our courts by our laws. You don't get the death penalty for smuggling in our country. Ugh. The victim in this case was an undercover Interpol agent. I'm sure that news has already reached Borginia. And they'll likely broadcast our dealings in court today. Including the part about the Borginian cocoon. Yeah, but... 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 But, if Maki doesn't admit to smuggling now, he'll eventually be picked up by the Borginian police. And it's not like he's in any danger in our court. We're not going to find him guilty of murder here, not now. Yeah, but... You can't do this! You can't! You can't accuse me! Maybe the law doesn't allow it. But who's going to think you're really innocent after hearing this trial? The same goes for Maki Tobai. <laughs> if you been smuggling your entire plan, Maki Tobai knows everything. There's only one way out of it for him, and that's to acknowledge his own crime. The crime of cocoon smuggling! Don't worry there. I'll get... I'll get you out of the country. I'll set you up someplace, a hidden mansion? Real nice. You want a house made of cookies? Or no, a house made of pianos. Come on. Please! Don't take... Darren, can 
consider that my last session with you. We rocked. I'm guessing we can treat our that outburst as a confession. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's laughing again. It's kind of sick desperation in it now, though. Well, I mean, but let's look at the right car. Yes. The pot. The pot of pot over I didn't want to turn it to turn out this way. But I'm not the kind of lawyer that can overlook a crime. This trial was all for your benefit, you know? There's no reason why you should hesitate now. I knew. From the beginning, I knew. Maki. Situation I cannot explain, but money I needed. Very much money. Great pot. But it's exactly to what I'm really upset about. Well, I'm thinking I'm definitely in the court of law. It's evident. But go with more, however. It's become apparent that not all things can be tried by the standard. But I'm not to this for purpose. We might have to consider an outdoor system by which I'm better than better. But if I met him back into a bar? Yes. Promise you will retrieve a part time by the laws of our country. But with regard to the current charges for murder, I'm left to the two. The cause of a paratoid at the party. Oh! Wow! Wow, his eyes! His eyes are so blue! I love it. <laughs> I thank you. I only lie, but you see truth. You find truth. Stop, stop, stop. Very well. With Pump on the Dependent, Monkey the Boy. Not guilty. July 10th, 4.42 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. I wonder what'll happen to Maki. Well, he did smuggle a cocoon out of Virginia. I guess there'll be another trial here. As well that ends well. Daddy! I owe you both my thanks. The more? Why, is something wrong? I I'm sorry, I... Maki was your partner on stage, your friend! Yes, I thought of him as my own son. Even now I do, yet... Something got a hold of him, something evil. I see that. And he must pay for what he has done. Is that not how it should be? I'm still sorry. You want to be sorry. You have given me courage. Courage? I'm considering an eye operation. It's my suggestion, actually. You mean you'll be able to see again? It's funny. I have always been afraid of the light. Light seems so harsh, so unforgiving. According to the doctor, Lamore lost her sight due to some kind of accident. An accident? As you know, I suffer from amnesia. I feared that if I could see, perhaps it would open my eyes to the truth I've been running from. I was scared. You want to change your mind? Here is your defense there in there today. She could feel your gaze unwavering, always looking straight at the truth. If all the light returns to my eyes, I think I will take up painting. Painting? That's right, she's the landscape painter in sound after all. I will paint the two of you, I promise. Well, I can't wait, Lamar. Are you, are you, I owe you my things too, Apollo. Uh, thanks, Mr. Wright, but for what? You reminded me I need to hurry things along. On oh, my secret mission, that is. Right, your secret mission. Apollo, Trucy, I hope that we will meet again someday soon. You bet, me too. And so, like a ballad, the trial flowed on and on, till it came into an end. Thanks to the trial, the guitarist serenade was a huge hit. Prosecutor Gavin's even more dazzling to look at now. But, there's something I want to say to that guy. Next time you write a ballad, have them catch the killer in the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. That is it for Turnabout Serenade. 
And now, or next episode, I should say, we come to the conclusion of Apollo Justice, or at least we start the conclusion of Apollo Justice. Episode 4, Turn About Succession. If this is the trial that I'm thinking of, and I'm not missing a trial in between, things are going to get really confusing really fast, so you're going to have to keep up with this trial. I know... I generally know what's going on, but if you, if you wanted story development and filling in some of the holes, that's what this case is going to be. But we're going to have to save that for next week. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.